Hello, I'm Mark Perry and I'm a first year business and management student at East Beck University. In today's vlog, I will be discussing my consumer buying behaviour in regard to one of the most prestigious brands, Apple. So what is consumer buying behaviour? Well, Solomon et al. says that consumer behaviour is when groups or individuals purchase, select, use or dispose of services, products, ideas or experiences to satisfy their needs and desires. Consumer buying behaviour is about how people interact with goods and services and their mental processes which occur. For example, someone at checkout might see a deal or something small which they did not necessarily need but they still buy it because they have developed an impulse for it. Apple is one of the biggest companies in the world in terms of value and has millions of loyal customers. They were the first and only company to be valued over $1 trillion and most of their worth comes to the sale of their iPhones. I am a fan of Apple and I love their products. I love the design of their hardware and software and how well each product works with each other. The product I'm going to specifically talk about is the iPhone X, which I pre-ordered on the 27th of October 2017. The reason why I pre-ordered this product instead of waiting for it to be released is that I need a new phone and I've been following this particular product from its launch so I knew I wanted it as soon as possible. I really enjoy using this product and I would recommend it to anyone. However, there is a main downside is the price. If you're familiar with Apple products, then you will know that they are often quite expensive and the iPhone X followed the same pattern as its predecessors. At the time of purchase, it cost me £999. The theory I'm going to use today is the consumer acquisition process developed by Gonze and Richardson. This is a six-stage theory based on how consumers purchase things and evaluate it. The first stage is called problem recognition and this is where the consumer identifies a problem or a need for something. In my case, my previous phone was hitting slow and the battery life was becoming an issue. The second stage is called information search. At this stage, the consumer will research where they can buy the product, what the trends in the market are, how much it generally costs and if there are any deals available. At this stage, I did some research into Apple's website to look at what phones they had on offer and I also looked at Samsung. I also saw lots of advertising online which further pushed me towards an iPhone. However, I already knew that I wanted an iPhone, so this wasn't much of a deciding factor for me, as this is with a phone I've already had and it's for fashionable for people my age. My search was mainly internal, because I'd already heard a lot of information about this product before I was in the market to buy it, and I already knew that I liked this phone. The third stage is called information evaluation, and this is where the consumer evaluates all the information that they have collected in the second stage and picks the product which they want. In my case, the selection was rather irrational because the price of the device does not compare with the alternatives. However, I still bought it out of the desire for it. The fourth stage is called purchase decision, and this is where the consumer actually buys the product. However, they may not buy the product which they originally selected. This is because there could be other factors which prevent the consumer from buying the product, such as it being out of stock. In my case, I knew there would be problems with availability at release, so when it was available for pre-order, I pre-ordered it. The fifth stage is called post-purchase decision slash behaviour, and this is where the consumer evaluates whether the, the product was worth buying and whether they like it or not. For example, someone who's buying clothes may like the look of a t-shirt in the store, however, when they get home, they, they may realise they don't like it or it costs too much. In my case, I really enjoy using iPhone 10 and I use it every day. However, I do recognise I probably spent too much money on it and that there are other, other alternatives which would be much more cost effective. The sixth and final stage is the real evaluation. This is where the consumer evaluates everything they have learned and next time they come to buying the product, they use that information. For example, they may do more research or they may just enjoy the product enough so that they just buy it again without much thought. When I come to buying another phone, I will do more research into other products, however, it's likely I will still buy an iPhone because of the great experience I've had with this one. To conclude, Apple's products are very well made and I enjoy using them a lot. They've pulled me in using various forms of advertising and will keep me as a loyal customer because of the quality. Thanks for watching, this has been my consumer life. I hope you enjoyed it.